Civilization 7 has been a lift. Uh, we've been doing things that were much more challenging than we've ever had in the past. Uh, Ed came into this game, Ed Beach, the, uh, the lead designer, with the intention of changing the way that we go about making a Civ game. He wanted to shift it slightly, slightly in one direction or the other and make it so that our fans can't really lay out and predict exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, one of his uh, biggest disappointments is that every time we come out with an expansion pack, every time we're talking about a new game, inevitably our fans know what we're doing because it can fall into a pattern. They know that eventually we're going to need a government here. They know that the game's going to work, you know, X, Y, yield Z. So he wanted to change that up. And with the current design that he's delivering, combined with shipping on all platforms all at the same time, uh, this was a lift for the team. My name is Ed Beach, and I am the creative director for Civilization VII. I love historical strategy games, uh, whether it's a board game or a video game. Love anything where there's a really detailed, involved map. So Civilization is the perfect game for me. In Civilization, we're always trying to paint a positive picture of the world, highlight all of the great accomplishments that humanity has, has achieved and all of the different cultures across the world have achieved. That's still true in Civilization VII. We're still highlighting the best things about each leader, about each civilization, and about each time period in history. As a lifelong history nut, I've always been drawn to the franchise as a means of playing with history and trying to recreate history, but also creating alt history. Both of them together really allow for a rich playground to overall learn more about history and its narratives. We always want civilization to be a snapshot of what you as a person and the empire you build to be this forward-looking, beautiful, you know, shining light on a hill. And I think that even rides even better with Civilization VII. I love the new mechanics of new cultures emerging. I love the idea that everything you build is multicultural now. Different cultures contribute to other cultures. Whether you want to or not, in the real world, everything you see when you look around you has been contributed to by multiple peoples and influenced throughout history by multiple cultures. I've always loved that about Civ. I love the fact that it's, it's a positive game. It's not a negative game. The whole game isn't about what's worse in humanity, it's about what's best in humanity. Civilization VII still has a lot of the same gameplay that fans will know and love. So there's still a lot that's going to feel really familiar. We're still highlighting the best things about each leader, about each civilization, and about each time period in history. But of course we're spinning it in a new way and adding new gameplay systems on top of it. There's a ton of cool new stuff and you're going to have to learn it all. It's a lot, but we feel like we're teaching it to you as you go along. And when you really dig in, you're going to see how deep this thing goes. And um, we're excited to say and really believe that this is the biggest Civ experience that we have ever shipped out of this studio.